it takes discipline to stop. To listen, understand, and breathe. These are all principles Vietnamese Buddhist monk Thich Nhat Hanh devoted his life to sharing with others. You don't have to remove all your pain, your sorrow, in yourself in order to begin to be happy. Much of his work came to be known as mindfulness and helped place him on an international stage, able to influence world leaders and global politics. Thich Nhat Hanh was exiled from Vietnam after opposing the war in the 1960s. He campaigned for the United States to stop dropping bombs, here meeting the late Martin Luther King Jr., who later nominated him for a Nobel Peace Prize. You've said that the only way we can begin to end war is, be, is, is due to communication between people. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we should be able to say like this, it's not our intention to make you suffer more. It is the opposite. So please tell us about your suffering, your difficulties. I'm eager to learn to understand. Mindfulness has fast become a pillar of the more than $5 trillion wellness industry. Many major companies like Google have adopted his practices as a way to keep employees happy. We don't need to buy an air ticket. Uh, a train ticket to go home. We need to ride on our in-breath, mindful in-breath and out-breath in order to go home. Monks all over the world have gathered to pay homage to one of their greatest leaders, a man devoted to listening, breathing, and letting go.